Greetings, booty bouncers. Today's Goosebumps Smoke Review. Sorry, guys. Cringenuity. Today, we have a Goosebumps Book Review. That's a little weird and random, but let me remind you, if you haven't been watching my videos, this book review, I'm, I'm doing mostly sloppy book reviews this year. And I'm trying to do one for almost every sloppy book before the end of the year. And yes, as in I mean every sloppy book, I will more than likely, something I want to do for October or September, maybe September will start, but in October, I want to do the Night of Living Dummy trilogy from Original 62, plus Sloppy's Nightmare Book Review. Maybe, a, well, I already did one, but I might do a re-review, since it was over a year ago now, I think. Um, either way. There'll be some new. Um, we're gonna keep we're gonna keep up book reviews from pretty often now. Um, keep in mind that I'm not just doing sloppy books. I'm probably gonna throw a few in there, like a few random ones, and suggest some of my shorts, like how I learned to fly. That was totally unscheduled, but it was a suggestion from a viewer, and I said, why not? I do like taking suggestions, so go ahead and comment on a short with videos, a short of comments. Okay, guys. I, um, Family Bonding, Season 1, Episode where it is, you know, go to my Useful Short Season 1 playlist and click on Family Bonding. There's there's some comments on there. I'm sorry if these videos don't have comments, guys. I don't know how to fix them, and you just kind of have to deal with it. Anyways, guys, let's get on to this book review. Oh, yeah, almost forgot. And the reason why I'm doing these sloppy book reviews, or these sloppy, why I'm reading all these sloppy books, because... The very end of the year, December 31st, is the day I want to release this episode. I'm going to do a ranking of every sloppy book. That is uh, up to date, but I will do a re-ranking when, you know, uh, I might. So I'm planning to do re-ranking and add the Night of Night 2 episode book. And the Goosebumps, the final sloppy year book, the final sloppy year book, which is 100% confirmed to be a sloppy book. Like, it's the final one. Make it a sloppy book. Like, that would be stupid. But, yeah, I will do those. And, yeah. Stay tuned for that. That'll be coming as your late... As your New Year's gift, guys. To enter 2022. Or, I mean, 2023. And 22 with a bang, you know? Anyways. To get, to get on that train. Let's start off with this review. The, mum, the Dummy Meets the Mummy. A book I... Surprisingly, I didn't read until August. Well, actually, July, but I finished it August 1st, like, because I took a break from it. I'm a slower-ish reader. I kind of, I take long breaks. Because, you know, I'm a fat boy. I need to eat. Sometimes gotta eat. And it, it, this would have been out sooner, but I decided I'm going to save this before I go to the cabin. Stay tuned. I'll, I'll do some vlogs. I'll do some little short vlogs. Since I don't have any sh shorts to fill in the gap of shorts right now. So we'll do some of those. Do one per day. Another day at the cabin. Oh, look. It's another day at the cabin. Big surprise. Let's <laughs> keep up with those boys. Anyways. So let's actually get into this book. So, The Dummy Meets the Mummy. So, how this is going to work, we're going to talk about my favorite segments. My, like... The characters, obviously, I mean, Dummy and the Mummy specifically, and also the main characters and the dad. The setting, the horror factor, and does it deserve to be a Goosebump book, and the twist, specifically the twist, because I really want to talk about that. Or the ending battle scene. And just read the back. Slappy at the battle of Mummy! Oh, God, it's the Mummy, to be exact. I kind of wish it was Prince Karu, but, you know, like, I don't really see how they're going to do that, like, I didn't Prince Karu die? Like, die, die? In, uh, you know what? Whatever. Either way, I got this dumb mummy. Yeah. So, my first favorite thing that I want to mention is the beginning. Actually, like, the very beginning. So, we have this dude. He's, you know, he's a dude. <laughs> and he's going to big up, he's going to be the first one to see this mummy in over, like, 5,000, 11,000 years, I think it was. I think it was like 11,000 years, 2,000 years, maybe. I don't know. Something around the 
2,000 years to 11,000 years. That time frame, I'm pretty sure. Maybe 13,000. It, it, it's been a while. This mummy's been buried for millenniums. Now, it doesn't go according to plan. And um, he, he gets his mustache. This dude has a fucking mustache. And he just gets it. It's like a wax strip. The mu guess, you, guess you ripped it off. Eric got this fucking mummy. I was surprised when Ariatus came to life. Like, is he actually alive? Or, like, this is this wouldn't make sense. The crew's playing, playing right away. What the fuck is happening? Oh my god, he's actually alive. So I kind of like that. Actual horror. Like, this is a rare Goosebumps occurrence, at least for me, from the books I've read. This is one of the very few times where things actually pick up immediately and things come to life, where things actually start happening. It just picks up immediately, like chapter 3, chapter 4 area. Immediately. Immediately. Now, with these slappy old books, I know it picks up a lot quicker with the slappy ones specifically. But this, this, this isn't even about sloppy yet. It's crazy. Anyways, my next favorite scene is the not the arrival. Um, not the arrival of slappy. None of those really really stood out to me. They're like, okay, we just gotta bring him in. We're bringing in the story. Those were of noting though. I do, I do like one of the slappy scenes. The first time he's in, brought into the book, um, slappy and the dinner scene, I guess, with the family who drops off slappy the museum. Spoiler alert! Even though this video title has spoilers, so if you clicked on this video, not wanting spoilers, suck it. It, it you can't sue me, guys. It's very small. I'm not gonna lie. Anyway, <laughs> achoo. Anyways. The, the sloppy dinner scene. I really like that one. I I, re I think this is one of the funniest... I, I actually laughed out loud reading this. Like, is this a Goosebump book or is this bananas? Or something else Star Wars I made. I can't remember what it is exactly. New York Times bestseller. <sighs> bananas. Um, I felt like I was reading... I felt like I wasn't even reading Goosebumps anymore. But then I went straight back to Goosebumps. Sloppy's creepy. He vomits this green goo. And he later again vomits his... Actually, he doesn't. He only said once in the whole book. Anyways. um, Next worthy scene is when they first... Well, then second time we wake up, Eric got this. But the first time, like... Oh, it's like... Crucial issue to story? I don't know. So, Eric got this wakes up in the museum. Um, I do... I Speaking of the museum, we're going to talk about this first... I, I love the museum setting. I do I do like this. I mean, the dummy meets the mummy. It's pretty obvious it was going to be in some sort of museum. Even if even if we didn't have a description. I think we knew. I, as soon as I heard I'm like, it's going to be a museum. Okay. Or Sloppy's going to be Indiana Jones. And he's going to go into a, an ancient temple. <laughs> that, that was my second thought. The first thought was museum. Or some sort of history place. Or somewhere where the f they put mummies. Okay. Roman Okuban Airport. What the fuck? <laughs> Anyways, so it's pretty obvious. But the museum itself, I in love it, man. It's pretty cool. Um, I do like the references. He knocks over a stack of horror books. Hmm. The Twilight Zone? No, definitely Season King. Season. Stephen King, for sure. They got It, The Mist, The Shining. The criming, the siming, the sliming, the rhyming, the miming, the siming, the fiming, the kiming, the sliming, the biming, the rhyming, the piming, the shiming, the bombing, the summing, the bombing of Hiroshima, fat man, little boy. Which what which bomb was I? Fat man or little boy? Anyways. Yeah, I love the references. Anyways, let's go back to our favorite scenes. Okay, so Aerogatsis is waking up up here. It's like the first one where it's crucial to the story or something. Jesus Christ. Anyways, I like it. Um, I feel like the main characters, I feel like this isn't like how they would act, but I feel like I feel like it's a little absurd. I'm like, where the fuck are these other people? Like, these are actually more crucial. Like, I would be on the floor crying or i would be like i'd be asking for his autograph <laughs> goosebumps gonna goosebump 
And either way, it's pretty funny. It's funny and scary. It's literally what Stein wanted. I'm, I'm pretty sure that that was Stein's whole goal. And I really think he matched it up with that little scene. Like, I'm like, this is funny-ish. I kind of find this funny, not gonna lie. He just... He eats the dad over his head like... Shit, tripping. Oh. It's like he... It's like he was... He eats him like Yelmet, man. Go play My Sing Monsters, Yelmet. I fucking love Yelmet. Anyways. Okay, the next two scenes. Uh, these are the last two. Let's go on to the dance battle scene. Not the dance. The, the dance. The, the dance, where they start dancing. <laughs> play music you know it's like it's like prom anyways they're dancing in the lobby the lobby has a disco going on there's a disco party they're having a party in the lobby party in the lobby guys party in the lobby we go over there it's free party in the lobby if you know what i mean that was a terrible joke anyways i really like that scene i i think the transition of that scene to next scene which is my all-time which it just made the book even better. It was like the cherry on top. Mm. Nice. Absolutely beautiful, man. Um, how they don't realize that Errol Gattis, when he's walking down the hall, that's Errol Gattis. That's the mummy. Not the dad in the costume or, again, spooking everybody. As you'll find out throughout the book, he's, he's trying to spook him, but that's no spook. That's a pook. And it's funny, because they, they know he's awake the whole time. They know he was alive. But the kids, the kids who are coming over, they just don't know. Which makes the book even better. It's, it's a great, it's a great plot demise. Great, great plot. You know, you know what? On Mac, 10 out of 10 for that. We're at the wait, because this is definitely going in the top five so far. Next one I'm reading is My Friend Slappy. I'm not looking forward to that one, because I'm not very interested, but I want to read Ghost of Slappy, which I'm not very looking forward to, and I'm not that interested. <laughs> Anyways. Next scene, the battle scene. So I haven't mentioned much slappy stuff, as I as I made clear. I only mentioned the dinner scene. So yeah, I think it was pretty obvious. Thought I was saving this for last. Cringe. Now, one thing I do want to mention is... I, I again... This is this is a mo this is the best scene in the book and it made me laugh and it made me go mm. that's a good scary that's a scary fun that's a good scary show man and um the whole fight scene is awesome I don't want to talk about it that much just go read the book this is a spoiler review remember spoilers in the title you know use your brain boy you might click on this before you realize it's a spoilers and then you're gonna spend sort like I want to see this review. <laughs> Uh, Arrow Gotchis is actually a gay person. That, that's the whole... That is the big reveal at the end. <laughs> I sort of have to just skip there and, and then you leave a comment in my videos. Like... What? I'm just gonna remove the comment. <laughs> Anyways. Next thing. Next thing I want to talk about. This fight. Um, Arrow Gotchis is a badass, but Slappy is a crazy boy. Um... The dinosaur, and you know the, the the amber, the amber, the bugs encased in amber. I know a lot about amber. Play Amber Island, my singing monster. Hey! Amber Island. Nice. Anyways. That, that's pretty much it I want to mention about the fight scene. Now, the tickle scene. The, 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 the twist. So, the, the, the twist is... Well, sort of the twist is... Aragatis, his weakness is literally just tickling. No matter how much slap he tries, all you need to do is tickle him to death. And then, of course, they read his words to bring him back to life. And they're trying to put Slappy to sleep after his purpose has been proved. His purpose has been served. Anyways, now let's go overall rating. I'm going to give this book out of 10... An 8.5. I think this is a great Slappy book. And it, it's a really good highlight of the Slap Your World series. Because it just it's just absolutely everything. It seems like absolutely everything Stein ever wanted to do. 
Anyways, guys, see you guys in the next one. Bye.